All right, what's going on? We're going down to the new building, the Super HQ. We're measuring the parking lot, and I need to get uh, the two guys in the back, get their eyes on the building. They haven't seen it yet in person. So that's what we're going to do. You know, just part of the process. Because uh, Tyler's about to have a kid. Well, he's not going to have a kid, but... Can you imagine? Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's a phenomenon! It's modern science. Modern yeah. science. Tyler C. Lover. Anyway, so uh, just in case that all happens while we're moving, I want to make sure that we're all aligned with how we should be building out this uh, this part of the office. So, it's going to be sick. Can you talk about what you envision right there? Yeah, so like one of the things I love about when you go to West Side, you're kind of tucked in the corner of the block. So I kind of see the monolith being over in that corner and then, you know, based around that, all the, the deadlift platforms out here, which will have another one, and then just kind of build the entire like powerlifting area. Because I think we're going to put the pin um, rack up there. So we'll have all cool, like, you know, you're my favorite you know, white boy, right? I, I owe you for this one. We'll know what time it is. I've been patiently waiting for a track this slow on You yeah. just done if you want in your ass and get rolled on It feels like my flow's been hot for so long yeah. You thinking I'ma fucking fall off, you're so wrong I've been listening in my head like a baby bone dead Destination heaven Sitting politics with passages from 9-11 The Lord's blessings leave me lyrically inclined Shit, I ain't even got to try to shine Guards that seem stretched to tailor fitted my pain I got scriptures in my brain, I can spit at your dame Straight out the good book, look, niggas is shook 50 feet, no man, warrior Swing swords like Conan, picture me Pen in hand, write lines, knowing the source of holy When I die, go read this and say it Exactly, Tyler. <laughs> lanes and categories. Do you hear this, man? That's what. That's why we got them. <laughs> so with the lanes be by skew, alphabetical, or color coded. That's why we got all, all, all the above. <laughs> Jeff, what's up? Each one will have. What's that. up? What are your thoughts, Daniel? It's the opposite of a chode's face. Let's put it that way. <laughs> what are you thinking about right now, D? I'm just super excited. I mean, it's the evolution of the business. It's the next step. You know, not just for Max, but for for old school, you know, we've been through like some different versions of the gym, you know, from Corey's training studio to the original old school to the present day building that we've been in for, man, I can't remember how long we've been in that, since 2008, so 13 years. And now just looking out there and knowing like, that's gonna be Alright, so today we're going to look at Corey G's original spots. And this is gonna the one he's gonna show you first is the original T3 personal trainer. Now you gotta keep in mind at the time, Corey was a personal trainer at Scarborough East Tennis and Fitness Club, which is about a mile down the road there. And he just drove around and found this first spot and came to us and said, hey, I'm gonna open my first personal training suit. I thought he was nuts. We were at 1745 Price Road. So I have some pictures of the still behind our original. Because you couldn't even, but here's the deal. When I found this spot, obviously you can, it's inside. So I didn't even know this existed. It was a ladder closet for when they were rehabbing the building. This is back in like 90, yeah, like 99, 2000. I used to have a, a, a studio sign right here that said I think personal. We walk back here yeah, no, again. It said oh, personal sorry. training and it had an arrow that went like this, <laughs> which no one saw. Sure. So then, so this is a beauty salon. This was a beauty salon back in the day. And basically, yeah, yeah, beauty salon. They still have chairs. My original, check it out. It's still gentle. It is not. Holy that's, that's crazy. amazing. Wow. What is this, like a train sound? How's it going? So, I had a personal training studio here in 1999, 2000. We're doing a video just going back. 
back to Ruba. I can't believe it's still a gym. This is amazing. No, it wasn't a gym. So did you guys just open up lately? Well, we've been open up for years, but it's yeah. plenty so, of different other things to do. Yeah, so I started, um, oh, I started Ruba Tennis and Fitness Club and then opened this joint, and he was here from like 99 in 2006. Now we have gym other places and I did supplements and a bunch of other stuff, but it all started here. And so I had like blue carpet. I got some of the pictures. It was crazy. We got the blue carpet taken out. Yeah. It was <laughs> the so blue carpet good. was still here. What's your name? I'm Chi and that's Jeff. What's up? I'm Cora. Nice to meet you guys. How's it going, guys? We own old school gym at Potastola now. Okay, so I see why they're yeah. out of there a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah so this was the start of it many this years ago. This was all the start of it like 20 years ago. I started here personal training. That's that's motivating. That's yeah. very encouraging because I plan on doing the same. So hey, no, I well, get, yeah. get that also, ground. not only that, we had like a little supplement. Um, Shelf, it was like what four four shelves we sold. Yeah, there. it was right by where the mirror is. National. I was one of the co founders wow. of Muscle Farm, oh. that was a big supplement brand. Okay. So I was one of the guys who started that. So it started literally not only the personal training, but the supplement game started here too. And I was just hustling a little bit. Uh oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. He wants to do all that, so he's a personal trainer. Professional bodybuilder, all that stuff. So I actually got something in here. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it starts again. <laughs> got, got the sea moss. We the sea moss. Uh, Saint Louis right. Right. Sea moss. This is like history repeating itself. Right? 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 I'm like, this look, look when, I, when I was walking down the hallway, I saw the like the reflection of the equipment. I was like, no way. I was like, this, like, this, is, I'm like, this, this is impossible. It cannot be. I'm there. Yeah. And now, you come back and look. Yeah. yeah well, I'm on the side here. Well, we changed it all. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a barber too. Okay. So he has a barber You guys are making use of all the space. Oh, yeah. oh, no. It's, but it's but this, there was a door here. I know. We can and, see it from the other side. Yeah, and that, that was actually where the first, that was our house. We yeah, my son does uh, music and media. He does production oh, and stuff yeah. like that. So Dude, this is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> this is, this is a, sick as fuck. Yo, yeah. super sick. Oh, this looks great. Oh, yeah, we, we it's amazing. Lauren looks good. So, yeah, so we used to be in this room. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's, 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 All right, here we go. Yeah. Wow, I want to see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I was 20 years old, starting out. Wow. Can you believe that? <laughs> Got the white and black equipment. Yeah. Yeah. And it <laughs> That's why when I rolled up, yeah. I'm like, what the? Because yeah. I knew it had been on so the So I things. took my stuff with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I'm like, damn, what's going on? Yeah. It's way nicer than what we yeah. had. Oh, yeah, it's way sweeter than what we had going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I started this joint for like. Uh, yeah, production and engineering over on this side. So, okay. Yeah. We started out for like four grand. That's all we had. So yeah. equipment you like, sound like us. clients yeah. was bringing it and just yeah. we were making do. Yeah. You were like from him. Yeah, and said yeah, of course, we good. bought everything else brand new, but we yes. bought that. And we had a few other equipment we sold just because, just space wise. Yeah. Just cool. I can't believe 22 years later. This is yeah. 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 honestly yeah. like tripped out by it. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're actually getting a new spot. Um, we're moving from Potasco out to Granville. I bought a building that has the, supplement, the new supplement business, which is called Max Effort Muscle. So we got that and That's the dope. gym all in the same spot. So it's like a super HQ. Oh, Still dope. super oh. retro. What's the name of it? Max Effort Muscle. Oh, the camera was like... Just <laughs> yeah. Somebody, yeah, you hate to just run in someone's spot with the camera. Normally, like, I figured we'd go back here and it would just be like, all oh, they reverted to the storage or something, yeah, no? Yeah. This this is, is, this you guys have only been here for a year. Yep. So literally, <laughs> 20, <laughs> listen, 20 years later. later. I, I did it. Exactly. That's full circle. When did you guys get it? So we were in here, well, 99 to like 2000. What month did you guys start? Oh, I don't know. You have to ask him that. He was, he was the owner of the studio, then we partnered up and we opened the big gym. But we, we stayed in this one for about a year, but then he got one of the storefronts about a year later. And so we stayed in the same plaza, but kind of where that child care thing is. We were out there for maybe four or five years. We thought about doing that too, down there for the child care space. Don't move too soon. The good thing is that everybody he has now is working. And when they come in, they make Arnold was our business partner, I was Family. working with Tiger, you know, I mean, yeah. it, it got it's crazy, good. bro. Yeah, so you were in, uh, so the guy from Muscle Farm, uh, he was over He's in Pickerington, correct? Um, there's a, there one of my, one of my guys used to live over there. I've okay. always lived in either Granville or Potascola. Okay, yeah, yeah so somebody from uh, Muscle Farm, I think, was it a doctor we, or something? Uh, Dr. Serrano. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was my formulator. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He saying. actually lives over in Patasco, but he's an East Side guy. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yep. Yeah, I know a little bit about him. That's cool. Yeah. That's so cool. he, well, he just taught us this exactly twenty years. Yeah. Because it was a year. Yeah. We've been here a year, so I guess. So I was in this twenty spot. identical years later. I was in this spot for three years. Was then, it that long in this spot? That's yeah. what he I thought said. it was only a year. No, no, no. I was here three years. Then we went up storefront to the right side of the carryout to so that children's place. That's where we were going to go. So I had that joint. I had that joint for like uh, 
another probably three years because I started at Scarborough East Tennis and Fitness Club. Okay. So they tried to yeah. squeeze me for my money and yeah. I was only 20. So I was like, shit, I ain't doing this. Yeah. I, but I, I mean, started, you were training there? I was training clients there, paying rent like a barbershop, yeah. same type of thing. And they came to me and was like, yo, we're taking 30%. And I had like about 15 30%. clients. And I was like, I ain't trying to do this. And, and you know, we were young as hell. So I'm just like, I started driving around. I'm like, and I found this spot. And it was literally, they were storing ladders in this for the oh, reface see? of the building. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, will you rent junk this? Room. It was a junk room. And so it looked like a junk room too. Because I eventually like bartered. So like a guy gave me carpet and I trained, you know, trained yeah. him and his wife. And we <laughs> did all those, all those moves back in the day just yeah. to like, just to make it work. People make you, people work with you. Yeah. So no, it, it was, it was pretty wild. It was so, pretty so, cool. So check this out. We first wanted to get t-shirts for the place. We were like, we ended up like perfect from like a flea market or something. We bought one of those little heat presses. Yeah, we had a heat press. I, I kept this all these years. Oh, okay. Aw, look. That's so, sick. See? So I threw it yeah, on the meter, the old T3. Yeah. That was the name of the studio. Too. Right, Love exactly. It. I don't even think you can say that anymore. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a tank top, right? <laughs> but that was the original one. I still got it after all these years. That's sick. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. The that was a surprise. I couldn't shop. find this place. Okay, so Shape Shop. We were working on the logo, but Shape Shop, so. My initial reaction, I thought it was like a weird reflection in the in the window because I was like, there's no fucking way there's still equipment here or whatever. Like I was, and the fact that it had been like basically 20 years till since it had been a gym and that fact where he's at his career, that's pretty wild. Super wild. Yeah, so wild. It's it's good good yeah, it is. But after we was in there for three years, we came out here and that I think that place is 900 square feet and I wanted to go to a bigger spot and so we could get some like actual like you know, some show to the road. We were in this joint right here, which looks like it's some type of kid's place now. This place was like uh, 2,250 square feet, I think, or something like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't think it was open. You're good. Um, anyway, so that was a lot better because we went there for, we was here for like three years and it just had more access to the road and people could see it more. and. And we just had to be. We, we had a lot of walk in traffic. People would walk by and they would yeah. see us in there working out because the, you got to figure none of these windows were covered yeah. so they could see us in there training everyone in the front room. Yeah, I remember when they hung the sign up there, how pumped I was. It was you crazy. got like a real sign. Yeah, lit up like and everything. It was crazy. Yep. Wow, that was, that was really awesome. All right. It's wild. The original, about to pull up to the original old school gym. That we'll we'll talk about it, but it was called Amazing Fitness when we bought it. Amazing! I remember seeing that. I was like, no fucking way. We're gonna go this Amazing <laughs> Fitness. But it's grimy as shit. Set the tone for you know what we are about, especially coming off the personal training studio. You can see as we pull up on the corner right here. <laughs> Early 1900s flat face building. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, the br if the bricks look the same on the on the inside, you know, I mean, the exposed brick. We had two members when we you know, when we uh, yeah. bought this. It's crazy. I used to ride out here. I was like Dustin was talking about. I was at the personal training studio we just came from. I was going up north, and I had one client here at Amazing Fitness. It was called Amazing Fitness. At the and top, yeah. low key, what's hilarious, the dude who owned this was some shady car lot dealers over on the fucking corner. <laughs> right. Got right. themselves in trouble doing all kinds of nutty shit and was like, yo, hey, I need about 10 grand for under my pillow. And I said, I'm in. I hollered at Dustin. <laughs> yeah, so he was like, the guy wants 10 grand cash and so we can have everything inside the building. I was like, all right, well, let's put We get our own gym for 10 grand. <laughs> How many gyms can you buy for ten thousand dollars? <laughs> but I mean, it had all the original dumbbells. A lot of the stuff we still have at Old School Gym yep. was in this building, and we got lucky because they got they got in trouble and they never came to see the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so years and years later, we were actually training at Michelle, who was an, att an attorney, and then what's her friend's name? Um, yeah, but she worked at the DA or something, right? She worked for the uh, yeah for the for the state's DA office. She said, "Oh, I've been here before." They be, or she's, I said, I've seen this place before. They were investigating the guys we bought the gym off of, and they'd come out and, like, take a picture of the gym and stuff to make sure we weren't still connected to whatever criminal enterprise they were running. They had going on. <laughs> so, luckily, we didn't get the gym seized after we bought it from cash cash from the dude that, you know, did whatever. I think what probably helped us is he probably had no record of him buying it. He probably paid cash for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, or else it would have got seized whenever they got in trouble. Now, 
<laughs> this is, this is yeah, super random, but on the back, there was like a little area kind of fenced in. I think the original owners, they used to play horseshoes out there. Mm. I was like, this is dope. I'm putting a garden out here. So for like oh, two yeah, summers in a row, I used to put tomato plants and stuff out there. So I get a little train and go out in the garden. And the crazy story I told on the podcast where the dude asked to see my wiener. <laughs> he rolled up under that door when I was in there by myself at five in the morning. Garrett left me, left me out there, boy. <laughs> I almost had to kill that dude when I saw him in the damn grocery store. That was funny. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, so we spent five, we, five years. Is it five years? Yeah, we were five years here. We basically, we, we started here with two members, and then we brought basically Corey's clients, and I think at that time I was just kind of training part-time. We brought some of our clients from T3, because you've got to figure everyone was going to follow us from T3 because T3 still existed. Yeah. But the ones that maybe lived a little bit further out this way or Black Lake, they followed us here, so we might have walked in with like 10 to 15 people. So we, I was rocking both spots for that two or three years, and then when we got to the facility we're in now currently at Old School, that's when we made the hard cut and said, everybody got to come to Pataskala. There was people driving from New Albany, downtown, which is what it is now. But back then, that was a scary move for us, oh, yeah. especially for me, because all my people was right, you know, where we just came from. And that's, a, you know, another 15, 20 minutes. So I was nervous about losing business. But we put the money into that next building. We knew that was going to be the spot we were going to be at for a while. Well, and we didn't do it until we were bursting at the seams yeah. here. Like, it was so it was so busy for the small. It's only probably 2,500 square foot. Yeah. Like, people were, like, tripping over each other. And we were like, we got to get somewhere bigger, you know. Original old school. I wonder if we can go in the dog. What do you use that for? Just a great workout? Yeah, it's a great workout. Oh, you can look in there if you want. Yeah, I used to, on the other place over on Bryce Road, I had I had whiteboards. Oh, the whole wall was a whiteboard. We could break the workouts. Check out how that, um, this is where I got, house. this is where I got obsessed about, um, S500s. The dude that used to work at one of the places up in Dublin was one of our first, probably like 30 members. I forget his name now. Up. He had a bald head. I can't remember his name. It wasn't who you're thinking of. It was a different bald head. Right. But he used to drive an S320 like late 90s, the big body, big body, every day when he would come to the gym, and I would be sitting right here on the other side of that, and our desk was right there, and I would see, damn, that is so hard, like I need one of those. <laughs> Which the desk at, at Old School now is the same one yeah, that was in that. here. That's where we inherited that desk from. And I can remember when we were like talking to the dude about buying the gym, he was like, he was like, this is like a $5,000 desk, and I paid 3000 for the chair, like he was just like spitting numbers out. I remember thinking like, you paid 3000 for that chair? Like what are you talking about? He was, he was, an odd he was guy. up in some shit. All right, I'm out. That was good. Man. Crazy. Progress, baby. I can't believe I never climbed up on that roof right there. <laughs> <laughs> What up, what up, what up? We're over at the super new HQ. Super new. I don't know if it's super new. It's about to be new to us. Um, working with my dude, Brian Williams. Brian Williams is epically never on social media. So he only knows what we're doing from his friends telling us what we're doing. So anytime I can get him in video, I feel good about that. Brian helps, uh, he's a commercial painter, he's helped us for years with all projects. So we're gonna go through Cole behind the camera gonna tell us what where we're gonna paint what color what and then Brian's gonna quote it out and we're gonna wrap this thing up. I was showing Kyra something. Yeah. So I don't know if he's acquiring it without it in there or not. They're cleaning it out already, a bunch of it. So this was the old school. This can be the gym, which obviously got the vibe, right? We're not painting this, so we won't need anything here. We're gonna be good. There's all kinds of random plus it looks like they Oh, dead deer from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some craziness. What, is that stuff? Are you going to get this inspection? I'm on the side, white from the side. You said you had some, uh, they had a, had a problem with the deer. They had a problem with the deer. You said you had some ceiling. So yeah, it's going to be a week, possibly a couple days. Yeah. But that's quick. Besides the building, 
Well, yeah, because we got to do a bunch of weird shit. That's why. Uh, it seems good.